world as a result. But if you think about it, folks, if you think about, you know, just the power of water, and I look at some of these, these big uh, pieces here, some of these are huge. I bet you one or two of these weighs a ton of piece. And then water's moving that, right? Or water's just going completely over it, ignoring it, and taking out the asphalt roads. The power of water, I mean, we underestimate it sometimes, but it is just so darn powerful, and we're, we're sometimes just helpless against it. Now, if you take a look at what the water looks like now, my goodness, this is fantastic, isn't it? It's been a, a very nice day today, a lot of sunshine, winds have backed off. Uh, they backed off almost right away as soon as the eye went north of us here. But look at the water right now. You could water ski on this, right? It's tremendously calm, and it's exactly what we needed here in the Panhandle and the Big Bend of Florida. We need some nicer weather. We're probably going to have nice weather for the next couple of days, and I think that aids in recovery because the last thing you want to do when you're out there raking up leaves and branches out of your yard, you're trying to make repairs to your home, the last thing you want is bad weather, and you're out there in rain, and it's just incredibly uncomfortable. Now, on the flip side of that, what makes it also uncomfortable for all the people that have lost power here and we've uh, you know we've got no air conditioning we've got no power unfortunately that's really gonna be one of the big stories for us here in Franklin County and over in Apalachicola just a stone's throw from here Chris Warren is there with this report at the height of the storm the Apalachicola Bay this is the bay you can barely make out St. George Island way off in the distance that bay was at least this high where I'm standing right now and all of this sand here uh, possibly wasn't even here it's hard to tell uh, but you can see that there's a lot of erosion and erosion is one thing uh, but when you talk about erosion that's undermining a road this is highway 98 one of the big transportation issues going forward is deeming whether or not uh, some of the roads are passable because of scenes like this and you can even see a a crack right here crack right here in the roadway and cars are going by so not even sure this is gonna gonna last too long and actually it's undermined even more over here so that combined with all the trees down over the roads in Apalachicola uh, you're only able to go a couple miles in each direction so it's going to be a while uh, before uh, this is returned to normal and before people are going to have access to other communities around here and of course the recovery is just going to continue in a lot of different places here along the Pennines. It may go on for, for quite some time and one of the places that may uh, need a very long time to recover now and we're getting incredible video out of there and it's just heartbreaking is Mexico Beach. Uh, this is a place that took the full brunt of the eye wall of Hurricane Michael uh, and it just is devastating to see homes that are no longer there, homes that are crumbled, uh, businesses that are missing, uh, things that have been just washed away it's like uh it's just like you just took a, a giant uh hammer and just flattened everything it almost looks like a tornado went through right it just is so heartbreaking to see and uh the images from the air are just stunning because you see the scope too you see how far it goes and it goes on for block after block after block and i think liana for a lot of people when they see those images it's very reminiscent of katrina right uh because it's that power of water that is so um, so overwhelming to a lot of different communities, and that's what's happened with this with this hurricane. And I think for a lot of places, it's going to be months, if not years, before they get back on their feet. Yeah, and Mexico Beach is just one of the examples. But thanks so much, Mike Mattis, live in uh, Florida right now. And uh, we do show have, and we have more in devastating images in Mexico Beach. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. The full extent of Michael's fury still being calculated. A Cat 4 storm at landfall. Mexico Beach took the brunt of the eastern eye wall. 150 mile per hour winds pushed storm surge on shore, wiping out parts of this beach town. The entire Highway 98, I can't even see it all the way down past Parker. It's just debris all on the street. Along the water, few homes left standing. Others pushed right off their foundations. The strongest storm on record to hit the Florida panhandle, sweeping sand and sea from the beach into spaces where homes once stood. That's the hardest okay. hit. Uh, it's, it's devastated. Entire rooftops peeled off, one landing on a car, and boats tossed from the water. The town of a thousand, almost impassable with months and months of rebuilding ahead. 
And like you saw, Michael powerfully pushed through the Florida panhandle, whipping into Georgia as well as the Carolinas. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we know now. Michael's blamed for at least six deaths now, four in Florida and one each in Georgia and North Carolina. Virginia's governor has declared a state of emergency. A flash flood emergency is in effect now for Roanoke County, Virginia. There are numerous reports of water rescues in the city of Roanoke. In fact, an 11-year-old child was killed near a Lake Seminole and another person was killed in Greensboro, Florida by a falling tree. And more than 925,000 are without power in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, and the Carolinas. But we also have the dangerous threat for tornadoes. Then the severe weather threat still lingers. We're going to go now to Dr. Erica Navarro. Yeah, thank you so much, Liana. Unfortunately, this threat does continue across North uh, Carolina and Virginia here. Tornado warning persists across the Danville area, heading off towards Roxborough and includes Caswell, Pennsylvania, and Rockingham County. Take shelter here. Tornado warning until 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Everybody has a visor in their car. But a visor in the wrong place can actually make it harder to see. Nick Bolton here with the latest from Bell & Howell. We call it TAC Visor. Inspired by the face shields used by our American fighter pilots, TAC Visor can do things no ordinary visor can do. Like block blinding glare without blocking your view. So invisible dangers suddenly become visible and enhance colors to give you vision as sharp as an eagle's. The secret is Bell & Howell's light filtering technology. Nothing to see, right? But look again as we hold up our tack visor. Our colorful American Eagle is revealed. Amazing. Think it's a trick? Bring it in, guys. Well, check out what happens when I show it to these people. Hop in. Look at that windshield. Tell me what you see. A blank screen. Just a blank screen. Nothing. Blank. Go ahead and put down that tack visor and, and take a look again. Whoa! What the? That is amazing. That's crazy. How does it do that? Best of all, Tag Visor is easy to install in any car. Simply slide to adjust, and in just seconds, ready to rock and roll. So, if you need to block blinding glare without blocking your view, then you need a Bell & Howell Tack Visor. There's just nothing like it on the market today. Act now to get a Tack Visor for just $19.99, and we'll even ship it to you free. Only a Tack Visor features Bell & Howell's precision and quality, and is backed by our lifetime guarantee. But wait, order today and we'll upgrade you to our 2-in-1 Tack Visor. Just pay a separate fee. When the sun goes down, use the night vision visor to improve visibility and block dangerous glare from oncoming headlights. This offer won't last long, so don't delay. Here's how to get yours today. To order, call 1-800-965-3127 or go to TACVisor.com. That's 1-800-965-3127 or order online at TACVisor.com. That's 1-800-965-3127. With our laser measured floor liners, cargo liners, bump step XL, seat protectors, or no drill mud flaps. WeatherTech's American made products are perfect protection for any season. Order at WeatherTech.com. Weather. Unstoppable Wi Fi has a starting place the Xfinity X5 Gateway. And it's strengthened by X5 pods, which plug in to extend the Wi-Fi even farther, past anything that stands in its way. Well, almost anything. Leave no room behind with X5 pods. Simple, easy, awesome. Click or visit a retail store today. The ultimate 24-month leases are here at Roger Dean Chevrolet. New 2018 Malibu, $179 a month, only 24 months with zero down. New 2019 Equinox, $149 a month, only 24 months with zero down. New 2018 Cruise, $129 a month, only 24 months with zero down. Plus, take over $12,000 off a new Silverado and pay just $22,988 only at Roger Dean Chevrolet on Okeechobee Boulevard, just west of I-95. Or call now for your free information kit. 911 emergency. A lot of things can change in an investigation, but the weather never lies. Storm of Suspicion. All new episodes Sunday nights at 8. Currently in our area, 82 degrees with showers in the area.
tonight. Thunderstorms likely. Low, 75. Chance of rain, 80%. Friday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 87. Chance of rain, 40%. Friday night, thunderstorms early. Low, 74. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven day outlook. All right, our coverage continues here of Tropical Storm Michael. We still have the threats of heavy rain and severe weather persisting with the core of that system as it heads off to the north and east. Right now, you can see uh, multiple different colored boxes. That's showing you flash flood warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, and of course, a tornado warning here still for the Danville area uh, in southern Virginia. You can see the, the edge here of that rainfall shield in and around Danville. We still have that warning going until 4.30 p.m. Eastern time for uh, Reedsville, Ruffin, and uh, of course the Danville area uh, ongoing here as that storm continues to slide off to the east. We've seen multiple areas of rotation, uh, strong winds likely as well with some of these systems. 60 to 70 mile per hour winds are a potential, especially with that western edge of that eye wall that continues to slide right across to the east. We could continue to see the threat for severe weather persist across this region. A tornado watch is still in play for uh, places like Raleigh, Norfolk, Virginia, out towards the Outer Banks here. Um, much of eastern North Carolina. This extends until 9 o'clock Eastern time tonight as we do have that threat for severe weather um, again persisting into this area. Near Roanoke, Virginia, we're continuing to monitor a flash flood emergency that's ongoing. Uh, Hollands, Roanoke, and Salem have taken on a tremendous amount of water here in the last couple of hours, and this has led to numerous road closures, swift water rescues, and as much as six inches of water that have been uh, pushing over uh, some of the streets here. This at the intersection of 13th Street and Baldwin, so a very dangerous situation ongoing in Roanoke. Okay, want to get you uh, the latest here out from uh, East Point, Florida. That's where our Mike Bettis is live this morning, and Mike... Uh, you've been showing tons of damage. You can see trees down, power lines. It's fairly extensive in this area. Yeah. It really is. You know, it's the power of water and it's the power of wind. And you think about it, we were a solid 70 miles from the eye here, but we got a right front quadrant hit, and that's where you're going to maximize the wind and the rain. Even though you may not see the most intense part of the storm, you're still going to get really uh, heavy impacts, including what you see behind me here. But I want to show you, uh, folks, really what it looks like at the hardest hit areas. And today we're getting a very clear picture of what's happened in places like Mex uh, Mexico Beach. Uh, that's going to be closer to where the center made landfall. And my goodness, uh, you know, you look from, you know, this perspective here, you see how much the water has pushed, you know, things off their foundations or has caused debris and piles and piles and piles of it. But it can be so devastating, the power of water, especially when you're talking areas that may have received as high as 14 feet of storm surge. And then you have crashing waves on top of that. And that's really the part that chews everything up are the waves on top of that. Um, and just an incredible sight there in a place like uh, Mexico Beach. Just absolutely incredible. Um, again, here, you know, you see what US 98 parts of it look like, where parts of it just been washed out uh, by the water here, unfortunately. And we had some high winds that did take down uh, some trees, took down some power lines. Electricity is still out here, unfortunately. And, and huge cleanup, it's a huge danger too. They don't have enough um, officers to get through here and block the roads off or put barricades down. You get big trees like this that are down, uh, things, you know, trees that have been snapped it down by their by their um, closer to their root balls here, but it's just a lot of debris and a lot of things that you've got to clean up and get this tree off the road. This is in the eastbound lane, right? You've got to get these things uh, cleared away, and it takes just takes time. Uh, now the the good news is, this is not nearly as bad as other places that we've seen. Let's take you over toward uh, Panama City. Reynolds Wolf is there showing us some of the destruction. Reynolds. That's right. Coming from Panama City, more specifically. You see the name over there, Palm Bay Prep Academy. This is the auditorium. Let's go and take a peek at this. You know, it, it's hard to believe, hard to find any place, watch your step, any place around the community that has not been affected by this massive hurricane. Not just on the shore, but obviously farther inland like where we happen to be, including this auditorium. Unreal. So you have a window to heaven right there. And then right in the foreground, you see the, the pews and you see damage everywhere. We're actually warned by one of the gentlemen here on the property, watch out for some of these tiles. They're not, not especially heavy, but they are just soaked from all the, the water that came on through. Now, again, 
I am no builder by any measure, but I would think that for a good part of this, this has got to be a total loss. I don't know what, what you, can, you can salvage here. But all the way from the front of the, the pews, all the way to the, the pulpit itself, it is just a mess. And what you're feeling when you step, too, is just, just tons of water that just cascaded from, gosh, hard to believe, this from a system that was just a cluster of clouds just weeks ago that rumbled on our shores, and now we're seeing the effects of it. There's even debris, even leaves that are right up against parts of the wall. Yeah, unreal. But uh, I'll tell you, there's a lot of help, a lot of assistance that's flowing into this part of the country from all over, even internationally in some respects, and people from Canada coming in to lend a hand. And I'll tell you, if you take a look out here, you can tell that they're going to need all the help they could possibly get. If we can, let's just try to leave you with one more shot showing you the outside of this building. Hopefully this is not going to affect the camera too much when this light comes in. But pass our great flags. And then right over here, pure evidence of the power of Michael. Unreal. You see the blocks knocked over, a lot of this, concrete, heavy stuff, not light by any measure. Sheets of roofing that could have been from houses, maybe even up to a mile away, no telling. But it's all here and it is definitely one huge mess. Well, that's the story that we have in Panama City. I'm meteorologist Reynolds Wolf. All right, thanks Reynolds. We have a new tornado warning in central Virginia. This includes Lunenburg and Prince Edward County until 4.45 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, this system sh is showing some radar indicated rotation just to the east of, uh, south and east of Keysville, uh, north of Rehoboth and west of Victoria. You can see there's that rotation likely coming over Highway 40 here imminently. So next up, Briary, uh, you can see that strong storm in the area and then Hampton, Sydney after that around five. Take shelter, please. To look at me now, you don't see psoriasis. You see clear skin. Cosentix can help people with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis find clear skin that can last. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms if your inflammatory bowel disease symptoms develop or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to. Serious allergic reactions may occur. How sexy are these elbows? Ask your dermatologist about Cosentix. Who knew? Yeah. So you're with the UPS store? Yes. In fact, we printed these right here. Oh, I thought you guys just did shipping. No, we do printing, packing, faxing, notarizing, shredding, mailboxing, copying, taping, binding, uh -huh. <laughs> consulting, designing, returning, storing, creating. Oh, and of course, shipping. So you're in the shipping? We also do printing, packing, faxing. Come into the UPS store today for every game your small business needs. And of course, shipping. A new client just said, until I signed with Binder and Binder, I was scared about winning my social security disability case. We'll deal with the government. You have enough to worry about. Don't be scared. Call 800-4-B-I-N-D-E-R. Most homeowners draw a blank when asked what their home projects should cost. That's why at HomeAdvisor, you can see what others paid for similar jobs in your area. Start your next home project knowing what you should pay. Go to HomeAdvisor.com or download the free app. We asked our customers, why is Consumer Cellular your choice in wireless? So what do you like about Consumer Cellular? Consumer Cellular is the best value. It's a fabulous service, great price. Consumer Cellular helps me save money. Plans start at only $15 a month, and unlimited talk and text is just $25 a month. It's simple and easy. It is reliable. I like the fact that there are no contracts. Simple, reliable, and no contracts. It's the ease of getting the phones, using the phones, and for people of our generation, that's really important because we're not always tech savvy. I have a smartphone because my granddaughter said I had to have one. <laughs> they still have a flip phone, but that's okay. Choose a phone that fits your needs. Consumer Cellular checks to make sure that the plan fits you, who you are. Well, I try to be honest and trustworthy, and I also think Consumer Cellular works that way as a company. I trust them. They share the same values. Stop paying too much for wireless service. Switch to Consumer Cellular and start saving today. With Consumer Cellular, I'm only paying for what I need. By moving to Consumer Cellular, my cost is 50% less than it was. I have everything I want with Consumer Cellular. I get a discount through AARP, which makes me happy. AARP members get exclusive discounts. Their customer service is fabulous. Customers are the number one priority. I really feel like they take care of me. There's not another provider in the industry 
that has the customer service that Consumer Cellular does. We're proud to receive the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service five times in a row. It's easy to switch. You could use your own phone and you could use your own number. Wild horses wouldn't drag me away from Consumer Cellular. Go with Consumer Cellular. You're going to save a lot of money. Switch today. It's all backed by a 30-day risk-free guarantee. Call 1-800-462-7095. Go online or visit a Target store today. You got to look into it. You should be with Consumer Cellular. Thank you for staying with us here on the Weather Channel. We continue to watch a hurricane, uh, excuse me, tropical storm Michael as it swings across the southeast. Ongoing tornado warning still in the remnants of the eye wall here in the outer bands of that system. Uh, this one here, a new one issued in the state of Virginia. This is central Virginia for Lunenburg and Prince Edward County. This warning goes until 4.45 p.m. Eastern time. And we have seen some radar indicated rotation around Highway 40 uh, west of Victoria and north of the Rehoboth area. Uh, Again, radar indicated rotation. That could be that there is a tornado there that's not reported or it has the potential to produce one if there's not there. So please treat these warnings very seriously today. Briary, you would be up next at 4.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Hampton, Sydney, then by 5.03 p.m. if that storm holds together. It's moving off here to the north and west at about 30 miles per hour. Uh, back off to the south and west here, we still have a tornado warning for the Danville area. This is over the Virginia and North Carolina border, uh, southern Virginia and uh, central North Carolina. Caswell, Pennsylvania and Rockingham County also affected here by this system. It expires uh, at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time, so potentially imminently, but very strong winds, heavy rain, and the potential to produce tornadoes will persist here with this system as it lingers across the area. Tornado watch is in effect here until 9 o'clock Eastern time. Those areas in red show you the places most favorable for that potential spin-ups of tornadoes today. These are often very quick, brief spin-ups that are obscured by rain, very difficult to see, uh, and on the weaker side, but they have produced uh, some damage here across areas in the southeast already. So once again, please take all these warnings very seriously. In Roanoke, Virginia, flash flood emergency is ongoing, including Roanoke and Salem. A uh, lot of rainfall has fallen and a lot of roadways that are closed uh, due to rushing water. So we will continue to see the effects of heavy rain here. Uh, across Virginia and eventually into the mid-Atlantic today. So, uh, Mike Bettis, uh, the threats with Tropical Storm Michael are far from over in terms of the southeast, but in Florida, of course, the recovery continues. Mike? Yeah, we had a devastating blow yesterday, and it's just uh, amazing today. Now that the weather's clear to get out and see the visuals of it all, it, it takes your breath away. This is US 98. This right here is the uh, eastbound lane, and you see what storm surge did to it, just buckled it, right? And so we've got big chunks of it that are missing down to less than a lane, and the state troopers are actually down here now blocking uh, the road off, unfortunately. And so they'll only let through probably recovery vehicles. They've let some fuel trucks on through and, and folks that are doing some repair work or uh, if we can get some power crews in, they'll, do, they'll let them through. But uh, that's about it, right? Uh, now, I want to show you how far the surge went. So we showed you down there by the water. But then the water came over US 98, you know, and pushes into some of these properties. You know, look at this home behind us here. Still standing which is great, but look at all the debris and all the stuff that got pushed by storm surge into the yard. Ah, oh, now you're thinking, okay, great. My home survived. We can get in there. We can do maybe a little bit of, of repair work that we need to do, but my goodness, you got to come in here with big, heavy machinery and a dump truck and get rid of all the debris that's been deposited in your yard. All right, let's talk about a little bit about the recovery that's ongoing. We're going to get some, some help into here. One of the things that you often need after uh, something like this is uh, fuel. Saw several fuel trucks just uh, flowing on in, and that, that's great to see because, you know, listen, we've got to have first responders that need fueled up, residents that need fueled up. You've got to have, uh, you know, different recovery, response and recovery crews here that'll need a gasoline to operate. So at least we know that that, that is here. That's come in in the last hour or so, so that's good news to report. It may be a little bit of time still. We haven't seen any power crews come through yet. So maybe a little bit of time before the power crews can come in and then get in here and start to retor return power. Let's get you into Appalachicola meteorologist Chris Warren is there showing us how the power got knocked out and the trees got knocked down. Parts of Apalachicola are heavily wooded, providing shade from that warm Florida sunshine. But unfortunately, these trees can come down and they do come down. A lot of these had standing no match to the hurricane, Hurricane Michael. And this one, a huge tree just split right here. Now, 
most of the homes in this neighborhood uh, have not had this kind of tree damage. And unfortunately, some have, and some have had them in the worst possible way. This tree right here, uh, unlike the other one, this was uprooted, pushed down, and unfortunately, a direct hit right on this house. And you can see coming right down the middle, the, the tree that probably provided a, a lot of shade uh, from that warm sunshine, unfortunately, uprooted during the height of Hurricane Michael. No word on the family where they are uh, or whether or not they even know this has happened to their home, but uh, a very uh, unfortunate and, and sad sight to see for sure. And again, yet to get any power crews into Apalachicola to restore power. So still without electricity at this time and still without water, unfortunately, as well. So hopefully, you know, if it's part of your prep, what you did was fill up the bathtub full of water. So at least in those instances, you can maybe brush your teeth or wash up a little bit or use that water to, you know, flush your toilet, stuff like that. Uh, we've got power edges all across the south, unfortunately, now topping one million customers. So a serious restoration effort will be ongoing here in the coming days and weeks. We hope you can stick around here on the Weather Channel as we cover the ongoing weather through the Mid-Atlantic and the recovery in Florida. We're back after this. If a dirty CPAP is making you sick, you're not alone. I was getting sinus infections because I wasn't cleaning my CPAP properly. And that continued until I got my SoClean. SoClean is the world's first automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. It kills 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs and bacteria that can build up in your mask, hose, and reservoir. I don't have to push a button or anything. I just put the mask in the chamber, close the lid, and it runs automatically. SoClean is has been a lifesaver. SoClean works on all popular CPAP machines and masks. Try it risk-free for 30 days. Even shipping is free. Call 1-800-426-0836 to take advantage of this limited time offer. If you get a CPAP machine, don't even take it home until you have your SoClean machine right with it because they are a, a marriage made in heaven. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. Even shipping is free. Call 1-800-426-0836 or go to trysoclean.com. I had eight feet of water in my house. My two cats were left behind. I didn't think anyone was ever gonna help me. Uh, just, just continue on towards him. We've had responders around the country helping in these life-saving missions. It was heartbreaking to know whether they were gonna make it or not. Be careful, stay out. 